Hi everyone, it has been a while, but it is Tanner here. It has been a, a bit of time since I've uploaded to the channel, and I do want to apologize for that. Um, a lot of stuff has happened in my life, both good and bad. Um, better recently, but just kind of a lot of stuff happened. You know, I was in college, I've been working a lot, which I do like my job, and college was nice, but some bumps in the way and some other things that went on so sorry for not uploading for this channel in like a couple of months i think last week was january so it's been like um about like six months so i decided let's go back i have a lot of videos planned but i decided to do like a really nice simple video back in kind of you know the rhythm of things here with a 2d mario two list tier list that's a lot of t's there but 2d mario tier list ranking all of the 2d mario games i don't know I don't know why Super Mario 3D World is in this tier list. It's a 3D game. I get it has some 2D properties, but still kind of weird to me. Um, I will maybe rank it at the end, but I'm not going to include it on the official list. Um, but yeah, so S is best of the best. A is pretty good. B is a good time. C is okay. D is bad. So let's start with the original Super Mario Bros. I like this game a good amount. Um, you know, it's the intro to things, um, you have the, you know, the art style of Mario, the bright colors, the great soundtrack, it's a game really anyone can pick up, I do think this is an A tier game, uh, just, you know, I think when, the more I think about it, this was the game that got people into Mario, and it's such a simple concept, but it works, and, you know, does this game have the most power-ups, no, does it have the most, like, cool things about it, no, but it just does a good job, you know, welcoming any one 2D Mario universe in terms of games. You know what a mushroom is, a star is, the enemies, Bowser, Koopas, Goombas. And it's been a great game, you know, that has really propelled people. I don't think it's S tier great, but I, I think that it's a pretty great game. And, you know, one of the famous games, most famous games of all time for a reason. Then we have Super Mario Bros. 2, The Lost Levels. This is a C tier game. I do like the difficulty. I think that's cool, you know, how, how they have more of a difficult Mario game. They just don't add that much, you know. I think, like, the poisonous mushrooms in this game, there's, isn't like there's a like skinny mushroom. I know they have, like, knife backgrounds, some new enemies, but this feels more like DLC. Now, DLC was not a thing back in the day, but that's what a lot of levels feels like. It feels like just kind of some added on stuff. I like the difficulty. I have fun playing through this game. That's why it's not in D tier. But C tier is just solid. Okay. And that's kind of how I view the lost levels. I feel like Super Mario Bros. 3 was like the first real sequel to Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels is a solid add-on. Then we have Super Mario Bros. 2 USA version, um, which has a lot of, you know, very interesting things about it. It's a very different game, you know, in terms of you have Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toad um, available to play. You're in a different land. You have Wart, Birdo, Shy Guy, all these weird enemies. I think it works well for this one. Do I think it is a top tier Mario game? I think it's close to there. I'm going to put this one in E tier, which might be shocking for some people. But I do really like it. I think, you know, jumping on enemies and throwing them, you know, all the different playable characters, like I said, it works well for this game, and this game embraces the weirdness. I've always said it's like, kind of like Alice in Wonderland with Mario, like, this is a weird, wacky game, but it works really well. Sometimes the level structure is a bit weird. This is more of a vertical game than horizontal, and sometimes the way levels are um, laid out is a bit odd. That's why I have an A tier, though. I don't think it's S tier, but I think it's A tier, which might be shocking for some people. To no one's surprise, Super Mario Bros. 3 is S tier, one of the best um, video games, in my opinion, that Nintendo has made. It's just everything in this movie or in this game works. And I, you know, say movie because I almost view this kind of like a movie where Super Mario Bros. is kind of like, oh, the good original one, and then Super Mario Bros. 3 is this elevated sequel, right? We've seen that like Dark Knight, Empire Strikes Back, just fantastic sequels. And that's Super Mario Bros. 3, I just think. Everyone, everything really works with this game. I love the different worlds. This is kind of where Mario really got more, okay, we have a fire land, you know, we have cloud, we have desert, we have jungle, we have water, you know, we have all these different power-ups, we have these bosses, we have the Koopalings, we have these secrets. You know, Super Mario Bros. did a really good job of saying, okay, what is Mario? Here you go. But I think Super Mario Bros. 3, 
really was the game that brought a lot of stuff that we'll see later in this series to the forefront and a lot of staples in this. I think the game is very smooth. It's challenging, but it's never frustrating, and I think it's a good difficulty. I just love this game. A lot of people do, and for good reason. And then Super Mario World is also S tier. I think Super Mario World is better than Super Mario Bros. 3. That's been the classic debate for the Mario fandom, right? For me, I just love Super Mario World uh, of the uniqueness of it. I am someone who loves creative stuff and being unique and being different. That's why I like Super Mario Bros. 2 so much. Super Mario Bros. 3, like I said, introduced all these new elements, but Super Mario World just kind of blew it out of the water. I mean, you have Yoshi, you have these, like, secrets in the levels, you know, these warp stores at different points. I love the cape power, but, you know, you're on this different land. You know, you still have Bowser and the Koopalings, cool boss fights and stuff, but it just does stuff different. I also really like the platforming, and the game feels a bit more smooth, but these are two of the best Mario games, and I, I love them both, so it's really close for me. Alrighty, now we'll go to some of the handheld titles. We have Super Mario Land. I think this game is is, is C tier, honestly. Um, it did some stuff different. You have to rescue Princess Daisy. You have a cannonball power up instead of a fire flower. You're kind of going around the globe. Like, there's a land, I think, in, like, supposed to be China, supposed to be Egypt. You know, they kind of have this globe touring adventure. You can kind of see down the cover here, like, there's a Sphinx and stuff. I think it works well. There's some vehicles. It, it works well for the most part. It's just kind of a short game. It's not the Game Boy, which had limitations. I think if this was on console, it could have been really good, but it's just kind of a solid time. And in Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, I really loved as a kid. Now I think it's B tier. It has a lot of creative stuff. Like there's this one land that's just literally like a giant house. There's like a toy land, Halloween land. A lot of that creative stuff I love and that I think we need in these new Mario games. Give us some unique worlds in Nintendo. I'm tired of Fire Ice Desert Jungle. Um, but I think sometimes this game's platforming is a bit weird. Sometimes it feels a bit too open. So I love the creativity of Super Mario Land 2. It's a very fun game. I'll at least say play it if you haven't. But I don't love it as much as I used to. But there's a lot of good elements in this one that I think they could bring back. And we have Super Mario World 2. Yoshi's Island. I really like this game. I actually think this is an S tier game. Um, it just works for me. The art style is fantastic. The music, like the visuals, everything is so recognizable. So recognizable. There's even a ride at it at Super Nintendo Land at uh, Universal Japan. So that's really cool. Shows you just how great the art style is. Um, I love the way it controls. It's more of kind of a puzzle platformer, but Yoshi is really cool. You know, the way you can flutter, throw eggs. There's just a lot of neat things I really love about this game. I've played through it a lot more recently on the Switch Virtual Console, and I really love it. It just flows super well. I do think Super Mario Bros. 3 and World, World are still better games, but yeah. Alrighty. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Um, I've never played this game, but it's just kind of a remix of the ones we've had, so it's like, see? Okay. Next up, the new Super Mario Bros. series. There might be some controversial takes here. I don't know. New Super Mario Bros. DS, I think, is a B-tier game. And I think it's the definitional one. It's the return back to formula for 2D Mario. You know, we got some new pops. We got the Blue Turtle Show, which is really cool. We got, you know, the Mega Mushroom, the Mini Mushroom. Really nice stuff. It plays like the other 2D Mario games. I like how the boss fights fit the theme of the land you're going to. So, like, the desert land, the boss fight is a mummy pokey. Like, you know, Pokey, like, Mummy, like, that's so cool, you know? So, I like some of that stuff. I just f think, for me, the game feels a bit clunky at times, because I played, like, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and I played, like, you know, I, I think I played New Super Mario Bros. 2 first, and then I went back to New Super Mario Bros. on the DS, and it felt a bit off. But it's just a good game, right? It, this is kind of like a game if people, like, give me a new Mario game that kind of has the basics, this is it. Um, and I like it a solid amount. I don't love it. I don't dislike it. It's a solid game. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is a really tough game for me because I love some of the things it has. You bring back the Koopalings. You have Multiplay, which was really big. I love the new pops, you know, the Propel Mushroom, Penguin Suit. We have Yoshi. But again, the worlds are very repetitive. And some of the bonus features are kind of eh. I do think this is an A-tier game. I don't think it's S-tier because... 
it's very similar in types of the worlds you have. It's like I said, grassland, desert, jungle, a lot of the repetitive stuff. And yes, there's a lot of new cool things that I like. The multiplayer is great. But if it didn't have multiplayer, this is maybe a B-tier game. And yes, I love New Super Mario Bros. V as a kid. It was one of my favorite games. I played a lot after school. It's kind of my nostalgia game. I just wish it did more new things. I like a lot about it. I just think it was like, if you give us some new lands, and if you may give us some cool features, you know, outside of the game, I think it could have been really great. And one of the best, but I do think it's A tier. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is the only game that's going in D tier on this tier list. I really do not like this game. Um, now, we've been going for 10 minutes, and I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll sum it up. But, again, it does it, it has the same issue as it has the same lands. And the whole thing is coins, right? I'm like, okay, that's a cool gimmick, but then don't do anything with it. I thought it would be cool if you could maybe buy characters like Wario, Waluigi, and unlock them. Nope. That's not there. I thought maybe, okay, you could buy power-ups. Nope. So, like, the coins do nothing. The 3D does nothing for the 3DS. So, it's just like, okay, it feels wasted and weird. Like, there's just a lot of issues with this game. One thing that I'll mention now, because it's relevant to this point, is that New Super Mario Bros. on the DS use the DS. You know, it used the bottom screen of it to show you a progress of the level and to keep items. And New Super Mario Bros. we used the Wii motion control pretty well, in my opinion. So they used the system well. New Super Mario Bros. 2 and the 3DS, yeah, it had the bottom screen thing like New Super Mario Bros. DS, but the 3D was bad. I just don't like this game. It's way too easy. You get life so easily because, you know, you get coins. I played this game, thought it was easy, and then I went back to like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and DS, and it was a bit more challenging. So it's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, it's D tier for me. It could have been great. New Super Mario Bros. U, I really like. And I do think it is probably the best out of the New Super Mario Bros. games. Um, I would put it... I'm going to put an A tier. I don't think it's S tier. It does things different. Yes, the lanes are still grass, desert, jungle, and stuff. But they're themed more to foods. Um, like, you know, layer cake, desert, so soda, jungle, rock, candy, mines. I like that. There's a bit more exploration. The world map is different. You know, you have Baby Yoshis are back. I think some of the boss fights with the Kooplings are better. Um, I love the flying acorn, uh, squirrel power-up. There's a lot of things I really like about this game. I just feel like Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3, and Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, those three games really changed stuff for Mario. And I mentioned that in this video, Super Mario Bros. 3, the power-ups, the theme land, Super Mario World had Yoshi, the flying cape, Super Mario World 2 had its art style. They revolutionized things for Mario. I really don't think New Super Mario Bros. U does that. Is it a great game? 100%. Is it S tier? No. And I, I very much value S tier. Super Mario Run is a solid, fun game. I actually think it's a B tier game. For being on app, you know, mobile game, I like it. It's cool. Um, I wish Nintendo made more mobile games because I like them. And I wish this game got more updated. Like, give us more lands. Like, do more levels. Um, it's a very simple concept. An auto scroll of Mario. But it works so well because Mario, well, he's a platformer. So, it makes sense. And I really genuinely think this game could be, you know, nice if they kept updating it. I, I like where it's at. So, that's the tier list for all the 2D Mario games. Super Mario World. Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi Sound are S tier, and then New Super Mario Bros. U and Wii are A tier, along with the original Mario Bros. and the sequel that won the USA version. B tier is Super Mario Land 2 and New Super Mario Bros. DS and Super Mario Run. C tier is the original Super Mario Land, <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 2 to Lost Levels, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, and then D tier is New Super Mario Bros. 2. That's a lot. Um, and I know this video might have been confusing at times because a lot of these, you know, kind of sound alike, but I try to do my best to clarify them. Super Mario 3D World, I would probably say is like high B tier if I had to rank it. I love the new power-ups. Um, I just think the game could have been really good and it's just a fun time. I think it could have been better, but I would say it's probably high B tier, but that's it. Um, and now I can't unrank it. So, you know, we'll just put it there. Well, that'll do it, everyone. That was really fun to do. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, interested to see what 
people think of my takes. I know a lot of people don't love the new Super Mario Bros. games. I like them personally. They're fun. Um, well, except new Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. And sorry for being gone for such a long time. What I'll probably do is, is uh, make an update video and then probably upload it after this one. And just kind of talk about where I'm at in life. But yeah, until then, everyone, take care and peace out.